Now, 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 there's no need to be so worried, Madeline. That's just what happens sometimes when you have been insulted, or you insulted Trassels, I think it was, and then you ended up getting slapped, and I am so sorry, and I, I wonder if that's actually going to, like, affect their relationship now, to where we finally end up having, uh, relationships among our pips, and unfortunately, the relationship, oh, here we go. <laughs> is insults and hatred. Gosh freaking darn it. So Trassel has been insulted by Madeline, uh, and apparently that does not go over very well. Relationships insulted Trassel, and now we are quite distressed because we got slapped in the face. Well, you know what, a little bit of salsa on the face is going to clear that right up, so don't you worry, Madeline. I have a lot uh, of other things to take care of in our village, so you do you. And welcome back to Are We There You, everyone, where we are settling in and trying to go ahead and uh, carry on without all the drama that our little villagers are getting us into. And let's see, yeah, we had a slap happen, which now has made the fear like essence everybody in the village is like oh, are we about to have a slap fest like is it about to go down so we actually don't have a whole 100 percent chance of um we need 12 more hope 12 more hope based on the current threat oh my gosh because the threat has grown oh because the domain is alarming wow that got everybody really upset I can't believe, like, we really have to soothe all of the ruffled feathers. Sorry, chickens, to reference that. Uh, <clears throat> we don't want to talk about feathers and chickens at the moment, let's just say. Uh, but we really need to soothe all the ruffled feathers because what is the next event? So that was a slap. Yeah, fear is actually going to be the next problem we run into. So let's go ahead and we, we need to get everyone to calm down. Just here, we'll have um, Nether Hearts and Lavender Rain's gonna come and they're gonna kind of hang out near Madeline and hang out with Tiff. Everybody's just gonna relax, have something to eat, hang out over at one of our little sharing tables and everyone else has work to do, which is good because we need lots of food and we have a lot to tend to. Also, who's gathering hemp for crying out loud? I need seeds, not hemp. I told you, seeds, seeds. All right, give me some seeds. There we go. Thank you very much, Lord Thunder. Meanwhile, we almost have our barbecue finished and we do indeed have Amy, Wolf Song, and Troubling Time gathering up some, f not feathers for us. <laughs> I thought they were gathering feathers. No, never mind. Uh, they're gathering something else up. We've got feathers being gathered by Silver Umbri and Troubling Time so that we can make some cloaks to fend off the cold when it arrives. And everybody else is just busy doing a little of this and a little of that. And also, Chris, why don't you go ahead and like, we need to keep the tomato like party going on. Just saying. Also, tomatoes plus two if water is within one. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Well, see? See? Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine, Madeline. Oh, there we go. No longer distressed, which is also good because distress adds plus one fear per day. And we really don't need any of that. Oh, Tiff was cured. I don't even know what was wrong with Tiff. So we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> And Madeline is not distressed anymore. Yay! Well, it's never good to have hatred spread through our little village, but I mean, what are you going to do sometimes? <sighs> we'll try to get everybody to get along. Also, can I do anything? <sighs> I really need to get those eggs. I, I might need to just go ahead and call it and like put an actual egg coop over here, I think. I think that's actually the right way to go about it. <laughs> All right, but we do have... um. We do need one more hope in order to go ahead and conquer the upcoming fear domain. But other than that, see, everybody's doing good. Everybody's just like keeping things moving, keeping things grooving. Now we can go ahead and get Chris like harvesting up these barley fields again, which will be very useful for us in the future. Um, and we have our researchers researching that woodcutter hut, thank goodness. Uh, and then who is eating the raw meat and why? Oh, somebody's actually barbecuing. Oh, Madeline, Madeline is barbecuing. Oh my gosh, and that's gonna give us seven, seven food. Forgive me, chickens, for I must gather your chicken fruit from the forest. 
And well, I mean, like, yes, in real life, I am vegan, guys, and I have been for a very long time, ever since I really got into my biology degree. Uh, and it's just fun. It's fun and creative and pushes you to challenge and question why the things are the way they are to also bring that into our pixelated worlds. There. I have explained myself, needlessly, but explained myself. Uh, meanwhile, you know what? I want these eggs. I am done with like waiting. No offense, trembling time. I know you're doing like really good solid work on the, that foul flock there, but like I have chickens I want to gather, and I put the chickens close to the other chickens, thinking I would tame those chickens. And boy, was I a little surprised, eh? And so, or should I say, was I a little surprised, egg? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I know placing the building will disperse those wild chickens, but I'm just gonna pretend I yeeted them into here, okay? Thank you, Tiff. Tiff is going to get to work on building that for us. And, um... Let's see. Yeah, we're gathering up the feathers. We are going to be finally gathering the eggs, thank goodness. And I think I might even move this hut or take it down because we have an empty hut and put another... No, another chicken. I love chickens. More chickens means more seeds means more responsibility. And I need to be a responsible Siri. Look at me sitting on my hands before I go ahead and fill them full of eggs. Oh, I can't wait to have the little egg coop built. Look at how much like cooked meat that is. Whoa, that might see us through the winter. Holy cow. Bleh. Though you have to admit that our tomatoes are definitely getting us pretty far. <laughs> oh, I love when the chickens sleep. It's so cute because they just go plonk on their little backs. Oh, you guys are adorable. I need to like make them out of clay or something. Yes, Mood got her hut. Oost. Now we can go ahead and train our own terrifying lumberjack, the Dane of all forests, with a giant axe. Wooden buildings erected just to get more wood to build more buildings. My father would have appreciated the irony. <laughs> oh my gosh. So they need to be built on a clearing. They require uh, wood within one terrain, and they get plus two for each wood uh, within one terrain. Okay, we'll kind of like poke that and figure out. So this is a clearing. One, two, three. So does that mean this woodcutter hut would get a seven and this one get a seven, but this would get us five and this would get us five. So clearly we know where to aim our efforts for upgrading these. And right now they're getting us four. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and upgrade these, I think. Hello? I th Think we're up yeah, we are upgrading them. There we go, Paint Seagull, Makuna Bunny. So, yay? Like, that's a, a cost of a lot of wood, but we're gonna gain a lot of wood. Enough wood to chuck a wood chuck, I suppose. Um, We still have 22 days until winter. All right, so that means somebody get over here and play. Yeah, everyone's busy? Everyone's busy. All right, look, maybe I don't need the Feather Brigade on Feather Duty right now this exact second and I could actually use more tomatoes planted like we are we are servants of the tomato the humble fruit that is not a vegetable it is a fruit uh, not as delicious as berries I will be honest but uh hopefully it will help us out and look at that barbecue really churn out that stuff oh man I would build a bigger barbecue but we need to have the copper bars not just the copper ore the copper bars before we can build the big barbecue all right and now that we have the woodcutter hut researched well uh let's see what do we want to work on next we could do hunter's lodge would get us even more raw meat that might really help stretch out the wild flocks of chicken uh the great barbecue can't build until we have the copper bars um town hall we need wood planks for and the little hut would allow us to hold many many more of our villagers but really i don't know if that's a good idea before i can feed them so maybe can we research the cloth maker now i think so and i would like to do that to get the fabric out of the way but also see if we could figure out if i can make like a soup that might make us go even further on food because that would be really good uh, wait, what's the next, like, challenge? Okay, I think we're good on those, too. 
All right, all right, let's go ahead and research this cliff cloth cloth maker. Actually, we've got quite a bit that could be turned into cloth right now too, which would be awesome. Carry on, carry on, little pips. Flying tomatoes, flying tomatoes. Like I said, we are merely servants of the humble fruit. And once again, I look away as the chicken fruit is gathered. <laughs> Hey, how fitting! Gaiman has now reached adulthood. Um, and we have quite a bit of progress. Jeez, I love how we're getting nine like research every day. And we have a whole bunch of people not doing anything at the moment. Uh, we are kind of starting to make a little progress on the food. And I sort of kind of feel like we could get maybe another barbecue built. And that would actually like help out because we're sort of like churning through the chickens pretty quickly <laughs> um because you know we can store that we don't need more hope so we actually have a bunch of free people uh available and ready to go still working on upgrading the woodcutter hut hmm interesting and I, I don't need more chickens at the moment. I don't need more chickens. I don't need more chickens. I really want more chickens, but I don't need more chickens. Um, I could make more seeds, like with more foraging kind of along the edges here. Hmm. I could just go ahead and make more pips for all I know. Uh, all right, somebody plant some stuff over here. I'm gathering up as many seeds as I can possibly like clutch in my little fingers. I could have somebody train officially. You know what? We might as well train a farmer officially just to have another one going. Hey, nether hearts! Jack-o'-lanterns it is then. Uh, and I guess we could have another kid around here, but I wanted to, I, I think you get to upgrade these and you don't have to destroy them. So, you know, maybe I can balance this out by building another barbecue. Hey, it's Silver Umbri, a game hen! Settling right in and uh, becoming one with the village by growing up and getting married, apparently, at a young age. I'm not here to question. Meanwhile, yeah, you know what? I will build another barbecue with a little troubling time coming over to help because that sounds like something that will actually provide us with a good, strong amount of cooked chicken fruit for winter. Carry on, carry on, my wonderful villagers. Wow, I love having so much research. I think I'm gonna build more research trees because <laughs> it's awesome. Ooh, yay, look at the woodcutter huts. And we have a new baby. It's, 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 it's. Oh, is this, uh-oh, what's going on here? Hello? <gasps> what is that? Stew? Homemade stew? I mean, yeah, I will take that. It gives you happiness. We also, when we're happy, we gain homemade stew. It's a little mini event for when you're fighting against fear. It's so cute. We joked with the cook about the contents of the stew until the day we discovered the truth. And it's an elaborate food. So that's what we needed to go ahead and discover for one of the main things to unlock. Fabric, elaborate food, and actually stone um, paving. We might be able to unlock the whole next section of like the elder's memories. Ergo, the whole next section of being able to actually see what we might be able to build for resources in the future. Excellent, or should I say excellent? Uh, I think all these are filled with babies now. <laughs> Except I guess Town Hall could have more babies. Um, I think we're doing pretty good on food too, geez. Oh, and I need to actually train somebody to come. <gasps> Who's going to take care of my chickens? Lavender Rain! Lavender Rain's going to become my professional chicken egg collector. I love it. Especially these chickens. They eat so many of my seeds. Uh, all right. We're going to have somebody else come over and plant more tomato tomatoes. Um, and then, oh gosh. Okay. I feel pretty confident for the omens at the moment. I also wonder if ignoring them is a bad thing. Uh, we have homemade stew level one. That's such a cute little mini event. And I still have three free, oh, that's because I haven't, oh. Oh, 
No available handyman. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Who needs to trade off? Um, um, well, 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 Lord Thunder, I think we're going to go ahead and retrain you into a lumberjack. <laughs> and I mean, this will be good. Do I have anyone collecting wood up here? I do not at the moment. And I stopped collecting feathers, even though it might be a good idea to get back on them. You know what? I think that this is definitely the time to go ahead and Silver Umbri and Tiff can help welcome in another thriving generation of young, happy pips. And while we're at it, will I need anything? Let's see. So there's the cloth maker. And then stone paving. Hmm. I just need a lot of wood. So you know what? Like... Who's free? Who's the last person free? I think they're a trained person. It's Makuna Bunny, who's the tool maker. You just come and harvest some of this wood. There is actually a point in favor of not having all of the buildings 100% upgraded, because then it will allow the people who are not experts and professionals to at least continue using those spots. Good to know. My goodness gracious, I have so many flying tomatoes now. They go in, they go out. Oh, sorry! <laughs> that name's very close to, like, oh, Siri, that's so cute. All right, everyone is headed off. Good, good. I'm gonna get too co like confident about all of this, aren't I? I see an... Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I see. I see an unknown event coming. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Okay fear <laughs> maybe we're afraid of like having not fashionable clothes because we just figured out how to make co the fabric uh and we need to train an artisan for that so i think we're okay without the cloth maker being built just yet uh we will need a little stone when we do that but I wanted to have it researched so that now that is out of the way as well. And we have now done to- Ooh, cauldron! <gasps> Ooh, what does this do? Oh, geez. The big metal kettle got so hot to use that your hands could melt if you touched it. Oh, dear. And that actually allows you to have a cook. Oh, my gosh. And then you can make glop. Ew. Well, huh. Of all the skills Pip lacked, the ability to make food out of anything was not one of them. Still, it stank a lot. <laughs> it's susceptible to being poisoned. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and if you have it near water, then you go ahead and get more water. And if you have it near a dwelling, you get more dwelling. And we would need to have a copper bar before I could even build it in the first place. And then we, you know, would have the glop as well, which would still count as a simple food. Fine, Taylor! The sturdy blankets were so heavy that it took two pips to lift one. If you soaked them wet, they were also useful tools for beating other pips. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's also mechanical. Mechanical parts that can be affected by mechanical faults. Oh dear, that sounds like something that could have a lot of issues coming forth with all of the randomness that could happen. Uh, it needs fabric makers nearby, leisure nearby, it could burn down, and it needs to be built on cobblestone. Ah, well, that just sounds like a fine how do you do, but it does indeed make blankets, which will help out with, um, I guess both heat and cold. Blanket. I had one with my initials on it. I had to. It was too comfortable and some pips would borrow it for weeks. <laughs> That's so cute. All right, so we discovered the fine tailor and the blankets that they can make. We also discovered the cauldron. I think that we would very much prefer to discover stew, um, if you ask me. <laughs> and probably the huts as well. But let's work on trying our best beans to make a lot of food. And if we can take one egg and some water and make nine glop, boom. That's amazing. That's amazing. And three tomatoes will make nine glop? We gotta do it. We gotta, well, actually, if we gotta do that, then we gotta do this, the copper mine. Because if we don't, oh my, you know, oh, ah. ah. And I still need my bread. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
The thing we have in hand, oh wait, if I get these, if I get the hemp and I get these flowers, will that give me seeds, like renewable seeds? I'm gonna kick myself, well, I won't kick myself, but I will I will give myself a sternly worded Ziri if that is the case. <laughs> okay, okay, think, think, think. There's so many fun things to choose. I, I just, oh, I'm so delighted. You could go in so many different directions. I'm so tickled, I'm so tickled. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna research the hemp first because that should hopefully go pretty quickly and it will also allow us to see if there are seeds in the future uh and speaking of seeds of the future uh actually well we're kind of full up on kiddos right now aren't we huh well then <laughs> uh yeah well then now i'm suddenly sitting here going uh uh <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, I need to figure out. Oh, wait. Uh, are we going to defeat this threat? I think we're going to defeat this threat. Uh, oh, seeds. You know what? Like I said, can't go wrong with seeds of the future. And also, maybe we need some water for various things, like maybe putting out the fires that might be started. <laughs> but all right, everyone. Hmm. Well, well, we'll have to. You don't really need to use a bow and arrow to gather up water from the well troubling time. But you know what? If it gets the job done, I'm not going to question it. I just won't. <sighs> well, we'll go ahead and see how the village prospers now that they're throwing even more things around in the air every night. Whoops, don't look at the chicken fruit. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Ooh, tomatoes. Bye-bye. Oh, that those tomatoes could be glop. I need to glopify this place. <laughs>